Bunny and I am so excited to be doing today's video because I feel like we are throwing it back way back to when I used to do lipstick swatching videos. Today's collection I feel like is just perfect for me, perfect for the Swamp family, perfect for everybody in the world that loves to drink sweet tea because it is a brand new collection from Sugar Pill, which is called the High Tea Collection. All of the shades are tea colored, and I cannot wait to open them and see if they smell like sweet tea because that would be amazing. Let's dig them out of my brand new magical makeup drawer. So I think that there are five shades in this collection. So I have had experience with Sugar Pill Liquid Lippies in the past and I have loved them. They are $18 a piece. I'm going to wipe this lip liner off of my lips and then we will get started and I will like time them and see how quickly they mat down. They are a liquid to matte, my favorite type of lippy in the entire universe. Really quickly before I get to swatching, I'm gonna be annoying and ask you guys if y'all have not already subscribed don't forget to subscribe I have a goal I don't know if we're gonna hit it or not but hey if you never try and you never set any goals then of course you're not gonna hit them and I think it would be so much fun if we hit 9 million Swamp Family members by Halloween I'm not sure if that's a reasonable goal or not but hey let's see if we can do it if you're watching this video right now and you haven't subscribed yet subscribe give a gator its wings i feel like i've never swatched lipsticks with a full face of makeup on before but we just came from leanne's wedding today and oh my gosh it was so gorgeous it was so much fun i feel like i'm covered in like sweat and like i was wearing an extremely glittery dress go figure i kind of hate glitter but this dress was just so gorgeous i'm actually filming a week's worth of vlogs right now i'm filming like little daily vlogs every day and i'm gonna try and combine it into one video and make one like a week in the life of bunny the first shade that we're gonna test is dainty i feel like this is kind of the standard sugar pill packaging it looks like a very light dusty rose shade and oh my gosh if you guys have been here forever you probably remember when i did makeup videos all the time i would refer to nine shades out of ten as it's a dusty rose shade so i feel like i'm like throwing it way back with today's video let's go ahead and take a little sniff ah, it does not smell like tea you guys it smells kind of citrusy almost like a citrus candy it took one minute and nine seconds to mat down that is a really exact figure but i started to feel it matting down like almost immediately i love this shade i feel like i would wear this a ton it's a very nice natural neutral shade for my lips i don't know if you guys could tell when i was applying it or not but this is very close to my natural lip shade i kind of feel like the taste or the scent becomes just a little bit stronger as it does matte down i'm not sure why since it is kind of like a citrusy scent it's appealing to me so i'm kind of not complaining i will also say that it does have just a tiny bit of tackiness to it. I'm not sure if it needs to like completely, completely matte down and if that will eventually go away. Dare I say like moisturizing matte. You know, some mattes dry down and become like really powdery. And I don't feel like this is that way. It's also not tacky enough that it feels like a lip gloss to me. So I don't know. Personally, I'm okay with that. That's my two cents. I feel like if the color is pretty enough, I'll kind of like go through some things to wear it. Uh, so let's see how easy it is to remove. I feel like it's coming up really easy. I'm not having to apply too much pressure. Let's go in with another color. I picked this one up, which is Crumpet. Looks a little bit like a brown shade. It does remind me of like that kind of like cinnamon brown lipstick that was so popular in the 90s. This shade is amazing. I feel like definitely my go-to makeup look all the time is just grunge, grunge for the whole year round. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm gonna wear this one a 
ton. Next shade we're gonna go in with is called clink. I'm sorry for this super messy clown-like swatch. I feel like I keep overlining and overlining with each swatch because every time I'm doing a swatch and then removing it, I'm removing off my foundation as well and so then I try and cover up that boo-boo with the next swatch. I feel like these lippies are super opaque and a little bit of this product goes a long way. Sometimes with liquid lipsticks like you dip into the tube once and do your lower part of your lip and then you dip into the tube again and do the upper lip so I feel like you would get a lot of applications out of this product because it doesn't take a ton of the product each time to apply it to get a really nice look. How would we describe this? Dusty rose? Is that what we're gonna say? Like a deep mauve dusty rose? I feel like every like, oh my gosh. Also, can we just have a moment where I confess I feel like we've like transcended to maybe like a more gross name than we used to be called? I don't know which I like less. Beauty people on YouTube used to be called gurus, and I don't think anyone calls them. Well, I feel like that's how you used to could classify your videos. Like when we first started uploading during the ancient times, you like classified yourself as different things. I think that's now why we go by how to and style when technically we used to be called gurus, which that's like the most like weirdest. But now we've transcended because we went from guru to Beautuber. Mm. It's like those phrases that I love to hate to love when you say perf. Sometimes I go down that like lingo rabbit hole and then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, perf, perf, perf. And then I look in the mirror and I'm like, but who are you? Up next, we've got Duchess, which why? Why is this? Oh my gosh, wait, is Meghan Markle a duchess now? I feel like I should know more about like the royals than I do. A couple of months ago, I got really into watching Princess Diana documentaries. Is that what's going on here? Is that what we're celebrating? Anyway, if not, I don't know what this has to do with tea. Duchess. I don't, I can't think of like a type of tea that's named duchess. My foundation around these lip swatches looks disgusting and it kind of makes the swatch look a little bit not as good in my mind, but we're living with it. We're living with it today and we're coping with things and I'm trying to be patient enough to let the lipstick dry. Like what kind of impatient person am I where I'm like, it only takes a minute, but I can't wait that long. I feel like I would really love this shade in the fall. And I'm getting ready for the fall, you guys, even though it didn't like the first official day of summer just happened like a week ago. And I'm like, eh, next season, please. I feel like my whole life is just waiting for October. I'm ready for Halloween. But summer's cool, I guess. Summer's great. How are we feeling about this color? I feel like it's kind of similar to Crumpet, which was my favorite one. But I feel like I like Crumpet a little bit more. We're at the last shade, which is called Trifle, which what is that? Is that like a dessert? This all sounds like very like British. Wasn't one called like scone? No, Crumpet. What's the difference between a Crumpet and a scone? Is a scone more of a dessert and a Crumpet is like cheesy flavored. Can there be other flavors of crumpet? I feel like I've only ever heard of a cheese crumpet. Also, I feel like I've been looking at myself recording this whole video today like a freaking noob. It's like I still don't have the hang of filming YouTube videos like eight years later. I'm still learning every day. Oh my god, are you guys just watching me do this? Like, I'm just moving my tongue around on the inside of my mouth while I'm swatching this lipstick. Is that like some kind of tick that I have? I feel like I've done so much today and I'm so tired, but I wanted to film this video. I know I say this like every video now, but I just miss you guys so much. And I feel like I've been working on all of these like different, more in-depth, projects and it makes me feel sad because a lot is going on behind the scenes and I'm filming a lot and I'm doing a lot for my channel. I feel like I still haven't gotten better than one video a week which is absurd. I'm gonna try and be better this week. Like I would be happy as a clam if I uploaded like two to three videos a week but I feel like definitely a lot of them would be like more calm. 
but I don't know I would love to upload like a weekly vlog video every single week I did that a couple of times last year but I think you guys weren't really that into it because the final product was always a super long video it was basically like a podcast length of video where it was like 50 minutes or more which is kind of absurd I feel like I feel like unless it is kind of like a podcast so I don't know I'm trying to do like graveyard girl 2.0 and make it better make it more interesting make it more fun and I'm excited you guys I'm always excited to see what the future holds I feel like hopefully you guys can tell in this video I feel like the biggest change I've made is that I haven't been filming on days where I don't know I'm just kind of like extra down or like the mood isn't there or the excitement isn't there because every video I've put out subsequent I've just been so happy and genuinely excited for what I'm doing and what I'm filming and just my outlook I feel like is so refreshed and so different I'm so happy so I hope that, that is reading through to you guys and I hope that no matter what the content of the videos is that you guys are enjoying it more because I'm enjoying it and I'm so happy to be here. Thank you so much if you're here today watching, taking this journey with me. Here is the last swatch. We're at the end of the video, I know. I am just over the moon about this entire collection. I don't feel like there is a single shade that I wouldn't wear that I don't love. I definitely do feel like some of them I like a little bit more than others. I do feel like Crumpet, that sort of like brown cinnamon 90s kind of shade was my absolute favorite. That is basically it. I feel like I've talked enough today during one lipstick swatching video. So leave me your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions down below. Are you gonna get something from this collection? Do you like it? Is it a pass for you? Do you feel like these would be shades that you would like to wear or no? Do you feel like they're kind of maybe more for fall? Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below. Subscribe. Will we hit 9 million gators by Halloween? Let's stick around and find out. I will see you guys very soon. Thank y'all so, so much for watching. I love y'all and I will see y'all later. Bye!